<laughs> Hello, Facebook. This here is Michelle's camera. Right. And, uh, and the other camera is my camera. All right, so um, show starts in a couple of minutes. Well, we're going to leave these cameras running, and uh, we'll see you a little later. All right. Uh, yeah, looks like uh, Valinda Guile is already watching. Thank you so much. Love you, girl. Uh, Denise, hello, Denise. Let me. Let me. I got it. <laughs> Took me five minutes to get in the chair. Yeah. Okay. Whoop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Woo. Okay. <laughs> okay. You're in. All right. Well, I should be okay. Can so, I bend this down a little? Yeah, bit? you can do. Yeah, just as you want. Welcome back. What's up, Doc? Thank you so much uh, for coming back on uh, and on this wonderful. Uh, week that we have coming up in uh, uh, Reno. Uh, we have uh, certainly our special guest today, um, uh, uh, Michelle Bachman, the lead <laughs> actress and, uh, of course, award winner also in the latest production of Leland. And I'm so proud of her. Uh, before we get to Michelle, though, we have some business to attend. And uh, Michelle is also from uh, uh, Virginia City, as I am. And uh, all of the uh, Virginia City people up there, howdy. And, uh, and of course, uh, they're seeing you right now, Michelle. You are live. And, uh, uh, and uh, uh, yeah, so uh, uh, let me just start off with uh, thanking uh, uh, some people, as I uh, normally do. I want to thank uh, uh, Cameron Hawkins, all right, uh, publisher for uh, uh, the Great Basin Highway. Uh, just absolutely wonderful publication. I've had the honor uh, to be on the front page. And the back page, and the inside back page. So I am very blessed about that. And uh, as a matter of fact, uh, Cameron's in our audience uh, also uh, today. And um, uh, here we go. Here's uh, here's the uh, front cover. And uh, I'm so blessed to be on the front cover of this magazine that reaches 180 countries. Right. And then we have the inside cover also, and uh, and also. I'm, uh, as of, as of January 2020, I'm the face of Nevada. I'm the face of Nevada. Uh, right here is the article. This is the article right here. All right. And this is according to Reno Tahoe Magazine. All right. This is an award-winning magazine. This is the uh, best of Reno 2020, and that's their new award right there. So it's a it's it's a magazine that's uh, yeah it's a magazine that's uh, very well liked. Obviously, uh, here we have uh, uh, the uh, the latest award from uh, Reno Tahoe Magazine right there, which I am a member of. Uh, Doctor Face of Nevada. Hi. Oh my God. <laughs> and uh, I'm, thank you so much for uh, uh, thanking me, uh, Reno Tahoe Magazine. I appreciate that, believe me. Uh, and uh, uh, also, uh, Sandy Lene, uh, Nevada's author. Uh, she just, uh, <laughs> we had a conversation uh, a few years ago, and, um, and her words, uh, uh, you're one of the most interesting person I've ever talked to. I'd like to do your biography. So that's what happened. So uh, uh, I, I, I told her, well, let's do it. So we, uh, we spent the last year or so uh, communicating and, and getting uh, things uh, on paper. And uh, then uh, she came out with uh, my book. Uh, uh, See, so, you now, Doc Giving, uh, Doc, yeah. what's, uh, how do you spell my, yeah. Doc Durden, a living legend, living his dream. And uh, boy, am I living my dream. Uh, that every day that I wake up is a dream for me. So uh, I hope y'all <laughs> are, are waking up into your dreams too. It, uh, it's just absolutely wonderful, uh, especially me uh, being living in uh, Virginia City. This is certainly a uh, 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 love of my life, uh, uh, living uh, in, in such a, a wonderful historical uh, town. 
uh, we have uh, close to two million people a year to visit uh, Virginia City, and and uh, and I, I I try and meet every one of them, I, I, every one of them. Can you believe that? No, I know you don't, but uh, but I try, and I, and I just love uh, our, our tourists that that come in, and of course uh, all the uh, all the people and uh, uh, that uh, that do dress up as, as I do. Uh, we're part of the color of Virginia City, and so I want you to come up and see us sometime. Um, I know uh, Michelle's husband is always on the street too, and he kind of looks like I do today, uh, all the time. He's dressed up like a gentleman all the time. He is a and, gentleman. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes, and uh, and uh, my uh, uh, I have to uh, you know get a little bit serious right here. We have uh, 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 Wynema Ranch. Uh, uh, this is a, a sanctuary for wild horses. Uh, they uh, they have anywhere from a hundred, uh, maybe two hundred head of horses at uh, gee, just about any given time, and um, and it takes uh, it takes quite a bit of effort. Uh, uh, it, it's a daily effort. It, it's it's no rest type of thing uh, to uh, uh, to keep uh, the ranch going with that many head of horses. And uh, and and Sherry and uh, Eddie, they take the bond of that. Uh, 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 that expense, uh, uh, the, the feed and the care of those horses because they have such a love. They have such a wonderful love for the wild horses that we have in Nevada. And I know there's a lot of us that we do, as I do. I, uh, you know, I can sit on uh, the, uh, the deck of my house uh, and, and uh, it, there'll, be, there'll be 15, there'll be 12, 15 head of horse, uh, you know, a horse is just walking by and I'm having a cup of coffee and they're just, uh, you know, just walking by and, and uh, only in Virginia City. All right, uh, that's about it. And uh, we're going to break and uh, we'll be right back. Uh, stay with us. We, uh, Michelle Buckman coming up. <laughs> All right, so... Uh, uh, I can hear the, you. Uh, just we are still on. Uh, so, uh, anything you want to say? This is what's interesting because we have uh, backstage information that doesn't go off on the air with America Matters. Um, this is strictly uh, live, uh, Virginia City. So, if you want to say hi to anybody in Virginia City, please well, I, do. Hold down. I just want to know. I'm really nervous <laughs> right now. So, <laughs> I'm. Uh, I'll do the best I can to represent everybody. Yeah. Now, uh, now yeah, Michelle is absolutely beautiful, as you all see. I know that we're on different posts, but it doesn't take much to go ahead and bounce back and forth. Uh, when I get uh, uh, when I get home, if I don't if I don't screw it up, now I'm getting better and better with this. Uh, you know, it, it, you know, I got I got three phones for crying out loud. It's quite an expense. Uh, okay, we have a standby. Okay, uh, so we're going to be. Uh, um, now we have uh, we, we we do have uh, a new engineer um, uh, today, and so we're trying to get coordinated, uh, and uh, we have a standby here. So I'm waiting for my theme music. Okay, all right. So uh, um, I'm back there. Stalking myself. What's that? I'm back there. Yes, you are. <laughs> and and you, they could see that, right? Oh, yeah. I, I don't know. Yeah. There you go. There you are. And of course, we'll we'll get a better we'll get a better shot of that when when you stand up, so I can show them your gown. And uh, the gown that I wore in the uh, opera scene. The gown I wore in the opera scene. Yeah, the opera house. Yeah. Yeah, at yeah. the opera house. Piper's opera house. Tours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so this is the reason why. Uh, you know, with with the see we, yeah, you, I can hear you. You can hear me with. The, okay. Can so, you hear me? So, uh, we have about two minutes with it. Two minutes. I didn't put that on because I took me. Yeah, like but no, I, yeah, an yeah, hour and a half yeah. to do my. You don't want to mess. So. You don't want to mess that. It took too long to get it where it needs to be. Yeah. So yeah, we were. Uh, we're um, uh, experiencing a, a new engineer, all right? Uh, she's had a lot of experience. She's been uh, with American Matters uh, uh, for, for quite a while in, in, in the past years with Eddie. And uh, so we're, uh, we're coordinating uh, our shows with her now. And, uh, and I know she'll be absolutely wonderful, as uh, Christian uh, was. Uh, Christian uh, uh, has other opportunities. 
got this. Uh, welcome back. Welcome back. And thank you so much. Uh, we're uh, immediately going to uh, go into, uh, well, no, I'm going to have to finish up on uh, uh, Wyneema Manch, uh, Ranch. Uh, unfortunately, I, I didn't get to the, uh, uh, to, the, uh, to the root of the matter here. And uh, it, it's, uh, it's, it's quite a task uh, uh, for two people. They do have volunteers that do come out, and how wonderful is that? And thank you all for the volunteers. Uh, you know, it's very, very difficult for two people to run a ranch like that, and uh, also quite an expense. Uh, so uh, if you go to uh, uh, WynemaRanch.com, uh, uh, you'll have a section in there where you can actually donate. Uh, it doesn't have to be a lot of money. Uh, in other words, it can be like $5, maybe $10, all right? Uh, and uh, so if we have enough of you with the $5, that adds up, as you can imagine, to a, quite a sum of money, and that all helps out. Uh, and if you have a love for the Mustangs, as, as most of us do, uh, you know, you can get involved. You can get involved with that five dollars, and it will be appreciated. Uh, so all you have to do is go WynemaRanch.com, and uh, all that information is available to you. And uh, boy, we'd just like to have you aboard. It uh, certainly will help out, and a hundred percent of uh, all donated money goes directly to the care and feed of, of the Mustangs uh, at the uh, Wynema Ranch. So uh, keep that in mind. And uh, then we have some special things coming up at the Wyoming Ranch that we'll talk about later. Uh, but uh, uh, but uh, stay tuned for all that because it's uh, all exciting stuff and it involves you. It involves you. All right. And um, uh, here we are. Now we're here with uh, uh, Michelle Bachman, who is my current leading lady in the current production of Leland. All right. Uh, a little background with uh, Michelle. Um, uh, you know, uh, she started out with uh, uh, um, Gunfight at the OK Corral. Uh, you know, I needed a Maddie, and uh, <laughs> I needed a Maddie, and, uh, and I'm thinking, I'm looking, I'm, at, I, you know, and I'm trying to cast uh, a Maddie that's kind of, kind of, uh, you know, look alike, uh, and um, and uh, voila, uh, it, it comes to me. I said, uh, Michelle Pachman. Boy, I, I hope she's available. So I asked her if, uh, if if she would like to be uh, uh, part of this production of uh, Gunfight the OK Corral and uh, play uh, Maddie. There's no dialogue. And this is tough. This is real tough when you don't have any dialogue. It was just three people. It was Josephine. It was um, uh, Behan, John Behan, and uh, uh, Wyatt Earp. And then uh, 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 Michelle, uh, well, uh, Maddie. And then uh, the, the scene is, of course, where Maddie comes running in on, on the scene after the OK Corral to make sure her husband, Wyatt Earp, is OK. Well, uh, Maddie sees Josephine and Wyatt together. And of course, yes, and, and you know, and, and uh, so her whole scene was the expressions on her face of, of, of realizing that her husband is with uh, this other lady, and, and let me tell you, that was a jaw dropper. It was, uh, it was, uh, man, I, I, was, I was practically in tears, uh, you know, because the emotions were so real. Uh, so when I was editing, uh, that was it. I went to black, and uh, uh, that was the scene. Uh, uh, you know, uh, it uh, faded out. And I, I kept it. We didn't touch it. It was absolutely beautiful. And then uh, uh, she was so uh, so good there. So I asked her, and I cast her in uh, Jesse James, the lady. And uh, she was one of the bank robbers. And uh, so let me tell you, she was uh, uh, she stood out again as as, uh, as one of the bank robbers. And uh, uh, she just had. And, and I'm looking at her, and I said, "This is a this is an actress. What didn't happen?" Uh, she don't know this, and uh, but she really don't know how good she is. But uh, uh, the next production that we're gonna cast uh, uh, Michelle into uh, uh, Leland, and uh, and I asked her if that would uh, uh, kind of suit her fine. Well, she, you know, early on she tells me, "The doc, I don't have any camera experience. This is the first time. I just don't have any experience whatsoever in in that field." And I says, "That perfect. That's exactly what I need, uh, because I'll, I'll I'll be able to dote on you and tell you everything you need to know." And, um, and uh, so anyway, she accepted the role. And let me tell you folks, um, this was a very, very good decision on my part. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> this is a very good decision on my part because she is exceptional. She is an exceptional actress. Uh, it's one of those people that, uh, uh, that uh, uh, you know, it, 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 it's in them. It, they're, uh, uh, they're, they're, they're made for the stage. And uh, boy, she was. And uh, everything I asked her to do, she did it with brilliance. And, uh, and I was glad to be uh, 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 acting alongside her. As a matter of fact, it gave me great uh, pleasure to be able to do that. 
and uh, and uh, uh, again with uh, um, uh, with, with uh, Jesse James, the lady, we're talking about that picture was an award winner, and that's where I got uh, best uh, uh, best director, best producer, best script, uh, and uh, and behind me is the uh, Westy Award. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, it's the Westy Award, and that came from that film. Uh, so, uh, and she was involved uh, big time uh, with the Jesse James, the lady. Uh, so, uh, w without uh, any further ado. Uh, I am going to introduce you to Michelle Bachman. Michelle, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me here. Oh, uh, it's, believe me, it's my pleasure, and it gives me great joy for you to be here at the studio. Uh, you're just absolutely stunning. You're beautiful. And I want, I want you to know that uh, uh, so far you're probably the highest, most interest, uh, had more interest in, in, in you today than any other guest. Uh, so far, you're, uh, it was over, what, 2,100 people that uh, were interested in, 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 uh, in you, and also 365 likes, and, uh, <laughs> and, uh, uh, and, and a, couple of, a couple of comments, uh, like, uh, 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 stunning, how beautiful, uh, how sexy, uh, it just kept on going on, so, uh, uh, so this, is, uh, this, is, this is wonderful viewing, <laughs> for me, at least I'm across the table, and, uh, and for our audience, too. Now, uh, uh, I want you, first off, to tell me uh, what your thoughts were when I asked you to become Maddie. Uh, total fear. <laughs> fear, yes, 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 I understand. He told me about how it's on camera and he, what he wanted me to do, and it was very scary because I had never acted at all. And, uh, she won't. No. I, no. Uh, yeah, go ahead. See, I don't know what I'm doing, so... Yeah. Uh, but it was, uh, you told me what oh, you wanted. Oh, you can't, you, uh, she can't hear you. That's, oh. that's the deal. Wow. Yeah. Okay, well. Yeah. Gotta get that feather. Yeah. Well, right. we, we, yeah, we didn't, we really didn't want to put the mic set on, on, uh, Michelle. Um, because, um, uh, wait a minute now. And, and, and I have to apologize. It has nothing to do. Sorry. Yeah, it has nothing to do with, with the engineer. It was absolutely me. See, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. No, uh, no. Well, what, what, what we're what we're trying to do is 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 we were trying to prevent uh, putting a headset on Michelle because of, of the hair. She spent, you know, you girls know how long it takes to do the hair, and and, and of course that now the yeah uh, the headpiece is absolutely beautiful. So we didn't want to disturb that. But however, now we did have we did have a mic here, but that seems to be gone. But that's all right. Uh, so we so Michelle did put the headset set on. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and uh, re reintroduce uh, Michelle, and my apologies to the engineer. She, she was absolutely going bonkers, I know, uh, but uh, yeah, I, I, we, we kind of uh, made a decision not her for her not to wear the headset, but... Anything to help you, Doc. He, oh, he oh, supports... Hey, good, good answer. He supports our town, Virginia City, more than anybody, promotes it, and we need that. We're, we're a little town... We've got so many great little businesses, and Doc is out there at parades with his whip, you know, and you know, and so yes, it was. Yeah. It was an honor to be asked. Yeah. I didn't even know you knew who I was, yeah. to be honest with you. <laughs> well, well be, you know, being being the small town that that we do, well, we have less than nine hundred people, and it, it is a community that uh, you know, you're not there because you just happen to end up in Virginia City. You're in Virginia City because you want to be there. Uh, that's the reason why uh, you know we have the residents that we do because they do want to be there, and for the most part, uh, you know, believe it or not, we get along. <laughs> the community gets along, and uh, and I absolutely love that. And uh, just to give you a, you know, a flavor of, uh, of, of you know kind of like uh, you know, who the people are in Virginia City, well, there's a lot of people that look like me. All right, there's a lot of people that have long hair, they have the facial uh, hair and everything. So that's kind of like uh, uh, the the general look for the for the man. And these are the ones that people that are out uh, putting on their um, putting on their uh, their uh, period clothing, uh, and uh, and they're and they're just entertaining people because uh, uh, of, of the tourists that come in, and and they just have fun with uh, well the, the tourists have fun with them, and vice versa. We have fun with the tourists. 
Uh, but uh, Maddie uh, was uh, was a subject that we were talking about, and, and I know that uh, she didn't have any experience whatsoever as far as theater goes, uh, movie making, or or um, uh, any of that stuff. But uh, you know what? Uh, she just uh, uh, well, this lady here doesn't take uh, no. In other words, uh, she'll practice and practice, and she'll do it until she gets it right. And uh, boy, does she get it right. And, and uh, I was very, very happy of her performance. It was just a stellar performance. And then uh, for me to go ahead and edit and, and bring in tears to my eyes, and then all of a sudden, here we go. We're going to black on this scene, and I don't want nobody to touch it because uh, th this performance was absolutely top shelf. And uh, that's Michelle Bachman. And, and, uh, and then, we, then we went into, uh, so now she has a little bit of experience, and, and she had a lot of uh, accolades from that, too. Uh, we had the... Uh, what, what we have, we had the uh, um, uh, we had the premiere uh, for for both shows, uh, Justice James the Lady, and also uh, um, uh, Gunfight the OK Corral, and of course we showed those, and um, uh, and there was a it was a, her her performance. There was silence, there was silence and tears. All right, we're going to a break, and uh, we'll be right back. This is going by fast. All right, see you in a little bit. Come on back. All right. Oh, now I'm hearing what I <coughs> wasn't hearing. And if you need to cough, there's a cough button right there. I apologize, Jock. That, that, that microphone was for the last people. I didn't realize that you needed a mic, or we could have just put it right here. Oh, no, no. Sorry I'm, about I'm your hair. No. And I blew up. I, I blew understand up. my hair. <laughs> I blew it, stops it. So after this break, you're just going to take it right up to the top. Uh, I'll cue you. Don't pay attention to the call. No, no, I don't. I, I wait for my no. The only thing I do, I wait for my theme song. For your bumper. I don't care about anything else. Okay. When I when my theme song comes on, I know I get about what fifteen seconds anyway. About thirty. Yeah, whatever it is. That's the only thing I look for. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so so yeah. Again, we're we're live on Facebook, and this is behind the scenes stuff that you don't see. Uh, you, you may see it on American Matters uh, video, and that, that's a good point, too, is that uh, you can see this currently on American Matters uh, Facebook. Uh, you go ahead and type in American Matters, it pops right up, you click on it, and then uh, once you get on uh, to the, uh, the, uh, the generic page, uh, it, it'll prompt you to go to video. So you hit video, uh, click on video, and then voila, you're right there. Uh, so uh, please uh, visit um, uh, the America Matters too. Now, when I get home tonight, of course, as as most of us know, that uh, I'll, uh, I'll 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 video I'll uh, edit and bring me and uh, Michelle together. Right now, we're on separate posts, so you're going to have to shuttle back and forth. Uh, uh, which uh, you know, it's okay, but uh, I, I like the personal, uh, you know, one on one and the close up, uh, and and um, so to get. Um, so to get uh, uh, as, 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 as much as I can from Michelle, uh, as, as beautiful as she is, she needs to be seen. So that's, that's uh, the reason why we do it. Okay. Um, uh, so uh, anything else that, uh, no. You just, so we just wait it out. You don't have to say anything, nothing. We're on a break, and uh, we just wait it out. I just want to mention that uh, all the... The reenactment groups that are up in Virginia City, these are people that volunteer. We all dress up. We purchase our own clothing. Um, Cindy um, Longoria Cece's. from and uh, yeah. Connie Carlson yeah. from uh, CeCe's Closet are great help. Not only do we rent our clothes from them, they donate everything to us, and they teach us, and it's all about teaching people the history. And the more I know about Virginia City, the more I realize... I mean, this was a tough town. Oh, yeah. This was a really tough town. These people had hard lives, and uh, especially the women, you know. And I brought, a, I brought a corset to show you what the... All right. Shoot, it's at the bottom. Okay, this is what these women lived in, and it pulls you in so tight you <laughs> can hardly breathe. So you really understand. No, we're good. Ten seconds. Women's liberation. Yeah. Get rid of the corset. <laughs> All right, we're back. Thanks for uh, thanks for coming back. 
Uh, what's up, Doc? Our special guest today is um, uh, Michelle Bachman, uh, lead actress in uh, Leland. And of course, my name is Doc Durden, and uh, welcome back again. Uh, I, want, uh, I want to get with uh, Michelle again and talk about uh, Leland and uh, some of the roles that uh, she's played. Uh, I, 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 I will shift the camera uh, to her gown. Uh, the gown is she, she well, this will give you an inside look of what the the movie you know the the period that we're in and that's uh, absolutely beautiful gown and then i'll show uh the um well i didn't uh i didn't bring my hat in and uh, i was going to show uh the uh what i wear on the set too uh but uh um uh, anyway uh uh, Leela, you, you've had several parts now. Uh, uh, the, the gown that you're wearing, you, you wore that at the opera house when you got arrested for murder. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, uh, that was quite a dramatic scene. And, uh, and, and, and you're all going to see that. Uh, we've, we've wrapped up everything that Michelle has to do with Leland. It's all been wrapped up. We did our last, last scene uh, last weekend. And uh, so uh, this will be, uh, be coming out soon. Uh, but uh, now uh, this is a, this is probably your first dramatic. Uh, this is really a dramatic scene. And uh, how'd you feel about that? I felt great. Everybody was really you know natural and comfortable. I knew the whole staff there, and uh, we uh, had, you know you had told me what you wanted. It starts out with a beautiful opera scene by um, Christina, Christina. Uh, yeah. Wildcat. Yeah. Uh, I know you're out there. And uh, she's got an unbelievable voice, and she sings full operatic, and then they march up on stage and break up her beautiful act. And the we're sheriff, in the, the sheriff, the sheriff yeah, does, yeah, and yeah. we're we're in the booths. And if you ever go to Piper's Opera House, which I strongly recommend you do take the tour, it's uh, it's just beautiful. So in he comes, and he accuses me, and I am un. I, I can't stand this. This is, and I yell at my husband, and he told me, just imagine if you were yelling at your husband. And so, I kind of feel sorry for my husband sometimes <laughs> if I yell too much. And so, I yelled at him, like, what are you going to do? You're not going to do anything. And so, they take me and they arrest me, and I'm screaming, and they're trying to pull me, and I'm fighting back. And so, it, it was a lot of fun. Well, uh, being being uh, uh, being the wife of Leland Stanford, I have all the money in the world. I, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm part of the railroad in the West, and uh, I'm yes. I'm the guy, and, uh, and of course uh, Jane, uh, 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 you know Stanford, uh, and of course it's the Stanford. Uh, uh, it's not the life and times of uh, Leland Stanford, believe me, it's not. Uh, we kind of we kind of take uh, liberties on this, and uh, but uh, this is uh, Jane Stanford, and of course uh, she's very prominent in the in the community. Elizabeth Jane Stanford, Stan but everybody calls me Janie. Janie, yeah. and. Uh, uh, that was one of the other actresses, Liza, um, M M forgive me if I don't say your last name right, McGillwee. She, um, she's actually an actress and has a lot of talent and experience. And so she kind of was coaching me along, kind of help. And she said, I'm going to call you Janie. And, you know, we're friends from finishing school. And we went out to society together. And I was like, I, I, you know, I was a kid. I grew up in Southern California. Well, I don't know anything about that. Yeah. So uh, she was really helpful with it. Yeah, yeah, and, and she is. And uh, Liza is going to be the lead on uh, Autumn, which is coming up next. Uh, that's FYI. Uh, and and um, uh, but uh, getting back with uh, Michelle here. Uh, so uh, so Michelle has has money. She has influence. And for the sheriff uh, to come in with the deputies uh, to arrest her, uh, there's absolutely nobody that going to put a hand on on Jane. Uh, and uh, she let them know, uh, you know, uh, and it was a pretty dramatic scene, and I absolutely loved it. And of course, they paraded her off uh, uh, the stage and uh, put her in jail. And so the uh, the next scene is uh, she's incarcerated. She has uh, uh, the, the the stripes on, the black and the white stripes, and she's in jail. And uh, so, how'd you feel about uh, being in jail? <laughs> Uh, well, I don't want to do that again, no, but no. it was uh, it was an interesting scene. You see, you know, Doc lets you improvise in everything, and so you really have to think about ahead of time what you're going to do. And so he had described to me the number and the scene, and I just can't imagine being in jail. I'd uh, be crying, uh, and he said, "I want you angry," you know, and I said, "Okay, I'll be angry." And uh, it was it was a fun scene, but it was uh, a little, uh, you know, there's small quarters at that studio and so and I was actually in a jail and it, it was uh, 
I think that's how it was so easy to act because I was thinking if this were me, what, <laughs> what would I be doing? Very be uncomfortable. Crying and yes. angry. It was, it was, and I think you encouraged us yeah, to do, yeah. you know, how would you feel in this situation? Yeah. So. Well, yeah, uh, just a little footnote on that. Uh, we don't work with scripts, folks. Uh, that sounds <laughs> kind of interesting in itself, right? No, I, I allow my actresses to become that, that, that character. You become, in other words, I know they're going to handle, they'll be able to handle that character. So I allow them uh, to, uh, to uh, go ahead and ad lib and create their own uh, verbiage because uh, there's reasons behind that and we're not going to go into it because it's going to take a, a long time for me to tell you why I do that uh, but um, uh, I want them to become that character and, and, and they do and Michelle is probably the best at it uh, because she gets in it because the emotions that she had in the Jane's uh, jail cell and and uh, which I uh, which I encourage is that uh, I need the highs and the lows I need the Hugh to be absolutely angry because I, I'm trying to get her out of, out of jail so when I come into the jail cell to see her she is so angry at me uh, she could spit bullets I mean she was just uh, and then after she gets that out, of course, then then then, then she comes back to reality, and, and, and then uh, and then she starts crying. She puts her head on my chest and everything, and and and, uh, and then uh, then she tells me that I need to get her out. And I, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it was just absolutely a brilliant scene, and, and uh, it, it couldn't have been any better. And, and that's due to because she became, I'm telling, she became Jane Stanford and and uh, or Janie. I, get, I, I overact. I know I do. <laughs> no, no, it, it, exactly where you need to be, and, and uh, only because you, it creates a lot of interest to your audience. And you did that. You did that. Yeah, well, that that was. I asked him at that point. I said, "Am I going to have any scenes where I'm like sweet? You know, soft? You know, because I I'm yelling at my kids. I'm yelling at my yeah. husband. I'm yelling at the sheriff. Is yeah. there? And so I think we filmed those. The soft scenes. Yeah. The soft scenes yeah. in between, yeah. and then there was the scene where I kill your uh, partner. partner. Yeah, and Doc kind of is the the business side of this, you know, Leland Stanford, and then there was the other side, the operation side, which was um, Joe Soros. Big shout out to him. He's a, another one of the yeah. faces of Virginia City, one of the most photographed men. Him and uh, Wes Francis. Wes Francis. Uh, he's another face. He'll be a guest also. Yeah. He's another. He's yeah. a wonderful actor. Wonderful, you know, portrayal of. And we all do realistic characters. They're mm -hmm. all, they're all actual people that we portray. Yeah. So when I did some research on who Jane Stanford was, and it's a little bit hard to find. And but Doc said, hey, well, you know. We're improvising. We're doing this. We're what did you tell, say? Eighty percent Hollywood. Uh, no, I, I, yeah, we're 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 twenty percent Hollywood okay. and eighty percent authentic. Okay. Yeah. Period. Got, got it backwards. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. No problem. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. And and that's uh, uh yeah. And and uh, for us to be a hundred percent authentic uh, during one of our productions, no, uh, that's not going to happen. Now, I have volunteers. I have I have 45 cast members, and they're all volunteers, and they're all wonderful. I can't make demands on anybody. Uh, I just, uh, uh, in other words, we are we are pretty close, and uh, so uh, that's where the 20% Hollywood comes in, uh, is and uh, everybody can relate to Hollywood movies, uh, and so I have absolutely no problem with that. Um, and uh, and we are on the bonanza. You yes, know? yes. I mean, that, it's another tribute to that that fictional show. Yes, brought the concept back, and that's you know we we try to reenact it. Yeah. Um, and Bonanza was fictional, but we play realistic characters. Yes, yes, we do. And so it gives you a, I don't know, a sense of pride that you're representing a yeah. human being that yeah. you know, and you want to do a good job with it. Yeah, not not to leave uh, not to leave uh, um, uh, my partner. Uh, without saying that uh, <laughs> that uh, Janie here beat the heck, beat the heck out of uh, uh, my partner, which his name was Harold. I, I, and of course that was filmed, and and I uh, at night we filmed that. Filmed at night. that was a night shot exactly, and she was she was out there waiting for him, and uh, and uh, only because he was pilfering from the business. And of course, uh, that was taking money out of the business, and that's don't her mess money. Don't mess with my family, man. Yeah. Don't mess with my yeah. Mama yeah. Beer. Don't mess with the family. Mama beer comes yeah. Out. So, uh, yeah, Doc had to teach me how to punch like a man. Yes, you know? yes. So, and yeah. he said I did it pretty good. Oh, no, you did perfect. And then uh, um, we had, 
you told me, think of a scene where you would be beating someone up, like fighting, you know, for your life. And all I could think about was when my brother used to pin me down and slap me and knock me in. I mean, it was true fighting. And so there was a lot of giggling in between, you know. Joe looks dead and <laughs> mad dog. Mad dog. And, uh, yeah, he, he spent most of the time on the ground. Uh, but uh, I've never... I've never seen the, the fierceness of uh, of, of uh, Michelle. I mean, I, and she's beating the daylights out of him. She's on top of him. She's straddling him. She's she's on top of him, and uh, and she is just it's going. About a, it's about six full seconds on on film of. of oh, easily, yeah. Of, of you know me really because they wanted he wanted it to come across that I'm really beating this guy up. Oh and yeah. So we we did. We did. And I shot him, him, I think. No, well, no, my, my well, gun misfired. Your, your gun misfired. That's how it started. You, you, you had every intention to shoot him, all right? Because, uh, you know, you're, no, you're not going to fight him. No, you had every intention to shoot him, but the gun misfired. He uh, he, he lurched at you, and then you uh, lurched back, of course, and then you got the better hand. And uh, you I had, knocked him down, you actually. Knocked him down. I, I pushed yeah. him, yeah. and he, I wasn't supposed to do that, but... Uh, you know, you get that adrenaline going, and so I just rah, pushed him out. <laughs> yeah, and, and that's exactly right. You do, uh, you know, and she does become that character. So, yeah, I know exactly what she's talking about when when she says, that, yeah, the adrenaline, and, and that's a killer, too. And uh, so, yeah, she got the best of them, and she's on top of them, and uh, she just uh, uh, beat the heck out of them. And, and that's one heck of a scene to see. And, and of course, uh, I... I, I, I I seen that. I went. I went over and over and over. I must have viewed that twelve times. Anyway, it was absolutely perfect. 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 Absolutely loved it. Uh, and it was interesting how we did the scenes all over the place. I think the courtroom scene may have been the first scene. I can't remember, but it yes. was in. It was like in February, yeah. and we're inside the studio, and it was freezing in there, and so we we uh, we all had, you know, three layers of clothing on, but, um, and then we shot the scene with me and my children and. Good scene. scene, and then we we shot the opera scene, so it was all over the place, yeah. Um, yeah. which was kind of interesting. And so yeah. I said, you know, I think these movies, you don't see the whole thing. You know, it's the editor who kind of puts it all together. And so he would send me some clips, and I all I kept asking Doc was, "Am I doing what you want me to do?" Because <laughs> I'm um, brilliant. And talking about the children, this is the scene we did at uh, Michelle's house. She has a beautiful house, which is now a bed and breakfast. Yeah, Howard uh, Street Home. Yeah. And we're, we're not we're not completely licensed yet, so we're not quite open. Not but quite we're open. hoping. Yeah, we have we have a few more, um, uh, you know, safety things sure. that we're taking care yeah. of. But yeah. um, we are hoping to do a soft opening by uh, early November. Yeah. And it's uh, a lot of people come up there at Christmas. There's a lot going on yes, in the month of October right, right. and December right. in Virginia City. And so we just offer, it's very small, only two rooms. But it was a great place to film Leland Stanford. And we did, I think, uh, three scenes there. Yeah. Uh, the first one was uh, with, uh, well, I have to, have to uh, um, uh, mention that uh, the house, one, there's one room that's very, very Victorian. And we filmed in there several times. And, and that's the picture that came up that was a contest. Uh, I think I had seven pictures up, and uh, number six picture is one that won. And Anita happened to win the, uh, the money prize uh, for that. And uh, now it's up again for uh, anybody that wanted to participate and actually doing a Photoshop of that picture. Uh, there's a $300 prize, $300 prize behind that one. Uh, so that, that, and that's on my uh, Facebook page if you're interested. Uh, it's open to anybody, anybody and everybody. Uh, so all I need to do is have uh, that uh, photo uh, uh, sent to me either by message, email, or whatever. But uh, that information is on Facebook. But the scene uh, from uh, uh, the kids. If you see me smiling, it's because these messages are coming up and they're cracking me up. Yeah, <laughs> good, good, I've good. never done this before. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and they do. There's a... Uh, well, there's three or four of them at a time, yeah. Um, and uh, so uh, this is our first introduction to uh, 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 Janie's kids, uh, or our kids. Uh, uh, I'm Leland, and this is my wife, uh, um, uh, Janie. And uh, so we have three kids, and uh, uh, Autumn uh, is uh, the youngest, and, uh, and, and she's going to be uh, starring in the next uh, film. And then and we have... Uh, uh, um, um, uh, Savannah. 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 
and um, Michaela and Taylor. They did the, uh, uh, absolutely. Uh, Savannah, you know, I, I was really, really uh, surprised at uh, Savannah, but she did uh, an excellent job. You know, uh, uh, with me, she's kind of quiet, uh, but uh, no, you you give her a task, and uh, she is absolutely very, very believable. She's very good. And all of them are singers. I yeah, yeah, you know they that. all so sing. They all sing. They all sing. They, yeah. uh, uh, Michaela's the old, uh, oldest one, so she's probably had more experience, but Autumn's right up there, right beautiful up there. voice, yeah. and I've heard Savannah sing at the, some of the karaoke, that, and so they, they're, again, they're yeah. natural. It was just natural. Yeah, then of course Michaela, uh, she's the most well-known of, 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 uh, of the three, uh, but she's had what, uh, she's had uh, over 300 performances uh, just in Virginia City on stage. Uh, uh, she's uh, 15, uh, 14 anyway. Uh, uh, she might have turned 15. Well, she's 14, and uh, what a you know uh, what a heck of a, a voice that she has. But uh, these are all talented kids, and, uh, and I was very very lucky to have them on the set. And but uh, these are uh, these are Janie's kids. There's so much talent up in Virginia there is. City. There you know, is. There's, there's a lot of live music. Yes. There's uh, we have you know Athena. Uh, who plays up there? Sean, who's the sheriff, he's uh, he sings at uh, the karaoke. David Foster, you know, Lady and the uh, uh, Tramps, Lady the Tramp, yeah. And Autumn sings yeah. with them a couple both, of songs. Yeah, both those are, uh, are going to be on, on the next uh, movie. Mm -hmm. uh, I have to, have to bring that in, but uh, yeah, you're right. And uh, da uh, David John comes that convoys. Oh, and, yeah. uh, and then the Red Dog uh, uh, always has some somebody different all the time. Yeah. And that's a mainly a night uh, group. Uh, yeah. they, they, they have open mic on uh, every Wednesday, and they've had um, com comedians. Whoops, whoops, there goes a the hair. They had uh, they have comedians that come up and perform, and these are you know it's a good, it's a chance to, to you know uh, try yourself out a yes. little bit. So yes. we have kids come up and play guitar, and yeah. they're, and there's a lot of really good you know Canyon White is one of the really great musicians that, and they encourage people. Rob is up there on the drums. He does the karaoke at the Ponderosa on Friday nights, and they they support. And I've seen Michaela sit up there uh, earlier when she was younger, and she'd go, "I've never sung with a band before," and everybody's encouraging her. And I think it, it, it you know, I come out to the Red Dog on Wednesday nights for our open mic. It's a it's a great experience. It is bring yeah. all the talent yeah. you have. And, and a historical, the Red Dog goes back in the '60s with. Uh, uh, all the big bands back there. Uh, Janis Joplin. Uh, Janis Joplin. She got her start yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. and uh, yeah, and uh, goes on and, and several more. Uh, we won't get into that, that, but I'd like to someday. And, and actually, Lauren is going to be on the program, uh, and that, but that'll be uh, late January, and that's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, again, I'm booked uh, way into January uh, every week, so that's kind of cool too. So uh, stay tuned every Monday at this time, and uh, new people. So. Um, uh, so now we introduced the children, and uh, that was a good scene because uh, uh, we had to set up Autumn uh, because she's the rascal of the bunch, and she's the one that's always in your jewelry, and, and uh, she's just uh, getting dirty, and uh, she wants to play with the boys. Yeah, and, and I'm supposed to yell at her, so I yell at her, and Autumn's like, <laughs> and I, I, after, after the scene, I said, do you understand I was acting on, okay? I wasn't really mad at you, okay? And she goes, oh, yeah, okay. No, this was so realistic. <laughs> This was see, I'm 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 in the back with with goosebumps. Poor this kid. is yeah, yeah, and it was it was just like your child and exactly what you would do with with your child and the disgust that you had because she had a brand new dress on yeah. that she ripped, lost her petticoats and they went I don't know where they went and and, and then the dirt everywhere and you were absolutely. Uh, disgusted with Autumn, and it showed. It showed, and there was, and of course, Didn't mean Michaela. Didn't but yeah. And, you know, and Michaela Michaela's was, the opposite. Yeah, she's the favorite, the favorite daughter, and she wants to be just like Jane Leland. Yeah. And uh, so she does everything, and at the last scene, I cry to her about, where, you know, I need you to marry well, and I need you to represent our family, and I was touching her face, and she got tears in her eyes, so I got tears in my eyes, and it was we were all over, and then when it was, it's kind of hard to come out of character yeah. when you do those those intense yeah, kind of exactly. scenes. Exactly, so. it was so intimate, and, and you're right, uh, I'm telling you, I, 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 uh, that scene there was probably the most realistic I've ever done. Uh, it was uh, It was just like your kids, Treating them just like you would have, and that's exactly what I want for my actors. Become, just become that character. And well, that that happened with Soraya Cleveland when you were doing um, the uh, Jesse James, James the Lady. lady. Yeah. I mean, 
Doc gave her such specific directions, and I mean, you could see just the anger come out. The, the I'm a female gunfighter, I'm a killer, you know, and she's the only one who lives and gets away with the money, you know, the rest of us all die. Yeah. And so, uh, but um, again, Doc, you just pull that out of yeah. people, I think, which yeah. is, yeah. and of course, there were a lot of um, uh, uh, local actors and actresses that were really good in there, like Linda, um, and then. Yes. Uh, uh, Vicky, Vicky, and um, um, Demetria. Demetria, absolutely, and, Demetria. Um, yeah. Then there was another new actress, Brenda Lucci, who uh, um, Brandy, yeah, Brandy owns uh, um, Virginia Vault, the Virginia City Vault, yeah. great store up there. Yeah. So many the ho the stores are full of stuff up at Virginia yeah. City. Yeah. I mean, beautiful things. Go, do your Christmas shopping there, okay? Uh, yeah, you'll give things yeah. to people that they will never have. Now we have unique gifts up there, especially my biggest movie sponsor is Shaw's. Uh, he's he, uh, he's he's given my uh, 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 my my crew my production crew thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars that you know of, of gifts and everything and they're all unique uh, they all come from uh, estate sales. Uh, you know, it's, it's nothing, nothing the same that you find anywhere else. This is all unique stuff. Some of the stuff go back to the early uh, 1900s, some in the 30s, 40s, uh, yeah. but it's all unique stuff. And just one and there's, a, one there's, a, there's um, you know, high end jewelry stores up there. Oh, Bassett yes. and Company yes. is a beautiful high end yes. jewelry yes. store with the, um, Joe Seeley. Is, he's part of a couple of our reenactment groups, and he's acted in, uh, in Jesse, no, it was in uh, uh, the OK Corral. It starts off with the military, yes, the, um, that's right. the 8th Cavalry, which is a reenactment group. And you belong. Yes, I, I'm, you belong. I'm Major William Weary. They call me Billy. And uh, I'm AAG uh, for that group. But we each have real names from people. Yeah. And Brian Staples is a part of that. And uh, Mark and Mike Pavlik, G um, Gigi and Michelle Pavlik, they're all parts of that. Mitch Groh. Um, there's so many, uh, the Youngs, you know, uh, there's so many people that are involved in that. And so he taps into all of this talent. And it starts out with the, the military marching. And then um, Steve Irwin, which is one, of, he's our musician in the group. And uh, he, he, that scene is just unbelievable when you see these guys marching. And here's Steve at the end. And you can just see he's an old Union soldier that's really going to, you know, do his best to be with everyone else. Yep, and and, so. and exactly that. The last last person in the line, uh, he he had he had, uh, he had injuries during the Civil War, and, and he played that off perfectly. Yes. It was just it was an incredible scene, and uh, and of course you don't uh, you, you don't really see that in the original uh, uh, gunfight at the OK Corral, but this was something that uh, needed to be seen. Uh, one because uh, Michelle is so proud of her uh, her military group. And uh, also, you're, you're with the Silent Riders, too. Yeah, Silent Riders are another um, very unique group. They um, consider themselves ambassadors to the future, but yet share the past. And again, we all have nicknames. We have, oh, I brought it. We have um, these red ribbons that we wear. And uh, what we do is, when we're in town and we post for pictures, we talk about the history, and whatever uh, shop we're in or anything, we tie these on the outside of the store. So if you ever come up to Virginia City and you see one of these hanging on a door of a shop or a, um, one of the other businesses, a silent writer is in there. And uh, we get um, all of our materials or stuff that we use. I'm trying to get this. Um, there's a wonderful hat maker up there. And this is uh, my cavalry hat. Pascal is a, a wonderful hat maker up there. He's from France, and I think he comes from a family of hat makers, so they're really quality. And then this is uh, one, another one of the hats that he made. I mean, Isn't that beautiful? This. Absolutely stunning. And it actually yeah. had green on it, and I told him, I, or no, it had yellow on it, I think, and I said, I need it for a Christmas dress. And so he said, I can do it. And so he, yeah. he made And he it. has the accent. Oh, he's yeah, wonderful. Yeah, he yeah. has the accent. He claims he yeah. understands me, but he's a, another <laughs> one of, um, again, a real high-end store, beautiful, um, you know, cowboy hats. He'll, he yeah. just creates it out yeah. of, and he asks the people, what are, you, what are you looking for? And they tell him, I want something like, yeah. like, Crocodile Dundee, and boom, he puts it together. So yeah. right there, right yeah. in front of you. Exactly. Actually, you know, I, I I can't tell you how many hats I have, but uh, I, I, anyway, I have quite a few hats. But they're uh, they're Beaver Brand hats. Uh, they're they're uh, um, um, you know what's the other one? Uh, uh, how come I have a 
I can't think of that. Anyway, it doesn't make a difference. The fact is, it's a really is, nice hat. Uh, yeah, they're 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 all they're all top of the line hats. Three hundred dollar hats. Uh, so you know, I, ha I have to. It's part of my signature. So I have to have the big hat, and um, and uh, and and I do, and I have some uh, wonderful hats. Uh, but I, I went in to uh, when I say but is that because Beaver Brand quit making the six inch brim and the six inch crown. All right, I needed a big hat. Well, uh, so I went to uh, Pascal to go ahead and uh, have him make me a uh, a new hat, and uh, he did. And uh, you know when I when I first uh, when I, when he first made it and the whole thing, I, I you know it, it was good, but uh, it, it, it it quite it quite wasn't there yet. Uh, but after. Oh, after about six months for me wearing it, guess what? That is my favorite hat now, and 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 I I wear that almost exclusively. Uh, it just fits absolutely perfect. And there's yeah. a lot of other places that sell these beautiful. You know, the Red Garter is one of the um, the stores that uh, they have Western wear. They have you know, if you want to buy something that is you know Victorian, kind of like what we're wearing right now. Mm -hmm. Um, Everything that I'm wearing. The jewelry yeah. store, Facet and Company, they have a gal in there who makes their own hats, and I, I, I want to like buy a new gown and say, can you make a hat just for this gown? So there's more than than uh, Pascal. There's a, I mean, it's it's unbelievable until you really dig in and find out what Virginia yeah, City's exactly like. right, exactly right. Well, that's a good time for us to stop right now. Uh, we're going to a break. Uh, we'll be back in our final quarter hour, and uh, we'll finish up with uh, Michelle. Uh, actually, I could probably do two or more more show, two more shows with Michelle. All right, we'll be back. I talk right. too much. I know that's a problem. I uh, overact no, and talk too no, much. That, that's exactly what you need to do. They've heard me. They need to hear you. Yeah. And, and again, I forgot to tell you, that's my camera, and that's your camera. I thought I was supposed to look at this screen. That, yeah, that, that, yeah, but that's this, uh, American Matters camera. Uh, the one that goes out. That was your final one. Remember, I had to go through the all the go all the way through. Oh, that was our final hour. You gotta be kidding me! Wow. We didn't yeah. say goodbye. I know. I took you through the. Remember, I told yeah. you to take you through this, but I didn't explain it right. Well, no, Apologize. no, no. That, that's all right. Uh, I I truly believe that we had another. Uh, uh, no, because yeah, I remember I told I blew out the set, the, yeah. the stop set. So okay. that's why I just let you go for the whole. Okay, okay, I got you. Twenty-five minutes. Oh, okay, I got you. So I blew you right through. Them. Oh, blew it through. Okay, I got you. Sorry about that. Uh, I'm we're sorry. done. I know. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> My first day back at the job and everything, of course, goes wrong. Well, no. So what's I, I, happening I, I, no, now? On this, me. like, going to like... start over because we're going to get into the news and then our <laughs> yeah. new hour. Oh, okay. So, so wow. Yeah. I hope that never happens again. Well, no. I, no, but believe thank me. You, Doc. Uh, yeah, yeah. If if <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank if you. I knew I'm everything sorry. I anything. the first yeah. time, you didn't mess anything. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know. No, if I if if I knew everything the first time I did anything, I'd be a you know a miracle man. Miracle. I don't. Oh no. I don't. We we all have yeah. We all go through our and uh, yeah. Apologize again, the boy. I tell you, this this hour went by extremely fast. And uh, and thanks uh, again for uh, Michelle for being here and being my guest. It was absolutely a wonderful show. I was, I was absolutely riveted the whole time. Uh, she's just a, a not only is she a, a wonderful actress. She's absolutely a, a, absolutely a, a beautiful guest. And we're gonna have to have her back. Uh, because we didn't nearly get where we needed to go, and, uh, and I have to apologize again for that. Uh, it just went by so fast, and and uh, but thanks for tuning in, and I appreciate uh, uh, your support, uh, uh, Lindy, uh, Lindy, uh, uh, Lindy Lee. Uh, Love Christina. Yeah, uh, <laughs> uh, I, I forgot to mention you, girl. Uh, yeah, thanks for your sponsor. Uh, you're, yeah, I love you, uh, and uh, I, I tell you, you know, without your support and all that, it, it makes it make it more difficult. Um, and um, and Brian and um, uh, uh, Ruby, Australia. Uh, thank you so much for again for, for your support. I know this is very very early in the morning for you, uh, and and uh, and thanks for hanging in there. Uh, and uh, uh, and and uh, I, I could go on and on, but uh, I have to cut it now. All right, uh, see you later, and uh, thanks for tuning in. Bye. All right. All right. So that's so, it. Now, yeah. Now let me just <sighs> shut, them, shut them off. Because, uh, that was intense, man. <laughs> yeah. I was trying to be interesting and yeah, You are interesting. I loved it.